it is it is so much about putting yourself in the user's shoes like is this mm-hmm. really good for for your users uh and if the answer is yes that's a great indicator right there but if the answer yeah. is like ah, i don't feel like our content of this type is that good or you know this is like it's an investment to get to to that level of like re- really kind of you know building that level of authority and believability with an audience when people come to the space they get bogged down in the seo of it and the metrics of it and all that sort of stuff and forget that the foundation the baseline is in serving through your content and when you serve through your content then you're going to have people coming back to the site where you you know and this might be a metric that ad thrive uses i'm not sure is like where you see how many people are coming directly to the site or returning to the site and time on page and all these sorts of things yep. where it's like those are the those are things like the foundation is the content and then those things will come don't focus on those things and how do i get there it all leads back to the, all those lo- roads lead back to the baseline of the content so and that's also exactly. the answer for getting the bigger bigger media buyers on your site too right because of the the engaged audience Exactly. And and, you, and and then you start thinking about it from an advertiser perspective. It's like, we work with 4,000 sites now, so advertisers aren't typically looking at all 4,000 and picking and choosing which ones they like. But <laughs> people look and people think about things. And if they know, I go to a lot of meetings with advertisers and they're like, oh my God, like you work with so-and-so website. And we're like, yeah. And they're like, that's great. I love it. And like advertisers are real people too. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're either going to know sites or they're going to look at sites sometimes and be like, oh, this is really good. Or they're going to be like, hmm like that's not so great like that's not what i want so i think again if you're answering the question for how do you make your users and make your audience feel really good you're also getting into the world of doing the same for advertisers which is how you get the most access to the best buys and everything else so it sounds like some of those advertisers are like oh wow you you have so and so on your platform for advertisers to say that they know that website which means that website has some level of a brand i know that you're not like and you would have learned a lot through seeing a lot of different sites now but what do you see a lot of these bigger sites have in common with their branding and how they may have established that so people can think about the long game as well like cool content and then on top of the content once we have the brand like well the brand comes from you know trust and authority but like what are some of those things that you see those common uh common between those top sites or even just like a lot of the sites on your on the platform you have it's it's funny i do i I feel like i'm saying the same thing repeatedly but i do think (laughs) like i keep coming back to it because i think it's it's so important um We even have like a number of small sites that within their super small kind of niche vertical, like they built a brand there and they're like believable there and they are trustworthy there. I um, was looking for for a a new dishwasher recently and like one of our sites happens to have like really excellent reviews of like home appliances and I was on it all the time. And like, Mm. you know, the site's, it's not huge. It's a, it's a, you know, medium sized site. Um, but within that, I'm like, oh, the next time I'm buying an appliance, like I'm definitely going there. Cool. So I think, you know, y- you can do it at almost any scale or size where it does matter. It- it's about that resonance. It's about answering questions. It's about mm. it's about making the user feel like their needs were really met. And and then it- and to your point, like that gets back to like how much direct traffic do you have in things? Because now, like, I'll just type in the name of the site because I remember it because it's really yeah. good. Yeah, and I think yeah. that the more right. and, and, you know, that. Sometimes it can be a little hard to achieve, like, and I get that, like, for every site like that, there's probably 10 others that probably won't, won't get there. But still, like, when users are coming back to it from, from search or from other channels, if they, if they really are kind of hitting those points and, and serving, serving the audience, I feel like that, that gets to how you build a brand, is you, is you build a repeatable, believable system that, mm-hmm. my system is the wrong word, but, like, experience for your audience. So they're like, I know when I need X, I go to this, this website.